First, the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually inaugurates projects for Manipur about 3,500 3, crore rupees. Manipur CM's abusive monkey remarks on cookies need serious attention from NDA government, says top tribal body. Karnataka bans use of drinking water for non-essential purposes, implements rupees 5,000 fines. Delhi police officials suspended for kicking Muslim men while offering namaz. And curfew relax in Infal East, West and Tobal District till 10 p.m. For Kachin District till 8 p.m. In Bisnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Hello, good afternoon. You're watching Elite English News at 3. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Vixit Bharat, Vixit North East, unveiled projects worth Rs. 55,600 crore for six states in the North East, including Manipur in Itanagar, Arundhati Pradesh today. For Manipur, various projects worth Rs. 3,500 crores approximately were virtually inaugurated and foundation stone laid. The Prime Minister inaugurated dedicated to the nation and laid a foundation stone for the multiple development projects with about Rs. 55,600 crores in Manipur, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Sikkim, Tripura and Ar Arunachal Pradesh. He also dedicated Sela tunnels to the nation and launched the Unati schemes worth about Rs. 10,000 10, crore. The development projects of the India today encompasses sectors like rail, roads, health, housing, education, water infrastructure, IT, power, oils and gas, among others. Speaking on the virtual, Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed about the development work which are being taken up for the Northeast states. <laughs> नॉर्थ ईस्ट की महिलाओं को होगा बहनों बेटियों को होगा साथियों भाजपा सरकार के इन प्रयासों के बीच कांग्रेस और इंडी गठबंधन क्या करते रहते हैं ये आप अच्छी तरह जानते हो लोग क्या कर रहे हैं अतीत में जब हमारे बॉर्डर पर इन्हें आधुनिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाना चाहिए था कांग्रेस की सरकारें घोटाले करने में व्यस्त थी कांग्रेस हमारी सीमा को हमारे सीमा के गांवों को अब अविश्चित रखकर देश की सुरक्षा से खिलवाड़ कर रही थी अपनी ही सेना को कमजोर रखना अपने ही लोगों को सुविधा और समृद्धि से वंचित रखना यही कांग्रेस के कार्य करने का तरीका है यही उनकी नीति है यही उनकी रीति है साथियों सेना टनल पहले तो भी तो बन सकती थी बन सकती थी नहीं बन सकती थी लेकिन कांग्रेस की सोच और प्राथमिकता कुछ और थी उनको लगता था पार्लियामेंट एक दो सीट है यार इतना काम क्यों करे इतने पैसे क्यों लगाए मोदी पार्लियामेंट मेंबरों की गिनती करके काम नहीं करता है देश की आवश्यकताओं को ध्यान में रखे Addressing a formal function at a city convention center in Fall in this regard this morning, Chief Minister and Viran Singh said that the Bharat, especially the northeastern states, have witnessed a big changes since Narendra Modi became the Prime Ministers of the country. 
Father, in his speech, S. N. Biran Singh highlighted the projects virtually no greater than foundation stones led by the Prime Minister. He said for the Manipur, the projects amounting rupees 3,500 crore, including foundation stone for 36 projects, for a total amount of rupees 1,748 crore approximately, and 45 crores with a total amount of rupees 1,703 crore. Highlighting the foundation stone laid by by a unity malls at a project cost of rupees 149 crore. The Chief Minister says that the unity malls will have a separate stall for all recognized communities in the state. Further stating that it is an important project which are, which are proposed by the state government. The Chief Minister thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi for approving it. And Biran Singh also thanks the Prime Minister for laying off infrastructure developments of the maternity and the child hospital. He says that the project also includes the infrastructure developments of the Manipur Technical University at a project cost of rupees 54 crore and that it will be beneficial to the youth. And Biran Singh also highlights infrastructural developments of the processing zones of IT, SEZ. He says that the Prime Minister and had suggested laying special focus on sports to divert the youth from drugs, which has laid the idea like one village, one ground, Kungang Ama, Sanabung Ama. He added foundation stones for the football grounds with natural grass in seven di different locations were also laid. Other projects for which foundation stones were laid include school infrastructure development, two road projects under NESIDS, two national highway projects, Infal Jiribam, Okrul Toloi Tadubi, and four bridges under Setu Bandhan, he added. Projects which were inaugurated include two roads under CRIF, uh, water supply schemes under Jal Jivan Mission, Craft Handloom Village as Moirang, four national highway projects in Fal Moray, Tamanglong Kongsang, Maram Parent, Sura Chanpur, Tuivai. Highlighting the plights of the Sangai, and Biran Singh observed the need to preserve and protect nature and environment. It says people should understand that the people depend on nature to survive, and it is not nature that depends on humans to survive. He also stressed on the rejuvenation work of the Lampel Pot and states today lots of environmental changes like arrival of the migratory birds have been witnessed in the area. He expressed the need to develop and preserve more water bodies in the state. And Biran Singh says that after the coming to the power of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, many chronic issues which were witnessed in Northeast, especially in Manipur, have been solved with a, with a provided sense of security to the people. He highlighted the implementation of the inner line permits in the states by Narendra Modi government. He also highlighted the central's decision to scrap the free regimes movement. Graski football ground, national Graski football ground. Tanya, when the drama came here, the Ahom Modi koi, Modi Modi koi, Shemba ko le sangar ka adhikar zib, honorable. Prime Minister and the ground city foundation stone of Vilikis, and the ground Tariyati, the park of Rumpu, or a national grass to go ground. I think it's school infrastructure. I coined a school for the Lanji and I coined a top job mission. ก็ไปเข้าไปก็คอลเลจพักกันจริงๆแล้วก็ไปเข้าไปเป็นมิชชั่นชิงมาเรียนเรียนนะย้ำนะอาจจะคิดว่าเอ็นคาร์เรสเ
purportedly on the Kuki Jo community while addressing the concluding programs of the Nari Sakti Bandans at the State BJP Office or the Tambal Sanglands and Nitiai Path to take in file on March 6. Following this, the Chief Minister's unrestrained and impetuous speech yields the Kuki Jo populace after it went viral on social media. In his speech, Edgar and Singh allegedly talk about how the Mite people have been driven out of Moray, Kangpopi, and Churachanpur by monkeys, impetuously referring to the Kuki Jo community. The Kuki Jo top tribal body is the Committee on Tribal Unity or the Go to Sada Hills while addressing the appeals at the Abusive remark directed at the Kuki Jo groups take the Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Singh as the most communal Chief Ministers of all India states. Eric's Kuki Jo's top tribal body stated that it is the ridiculous that the Manipur CM would really disrespect the Kuki Jo people by calling them monkeys while adding that any national rational citizens while detained with immaturity and imbecility in a mature individual such as the communal chief minister Biren Singh. It is also not only the blatant violations of the human rights but also an obvious demonstration of disrespect over his chair as the state had asserted Kaimin Lance sailed out spokesperson of the KOTU. He also says that the Biren's words and actions are equally unsound and absurd which is unbecoming of the head of the state and at, at this rate it portends some major events where the targets will soon crumble under the authorita authoritarian rules. He then opines that the centre must intervene immediately to save the hard-earned image of the NDA government before the lips of a full chief minister swallow it. Wondering as to why the chief ministers on Manipur openly declared that Manipur is the homeland of the Mite people alone, the Kotu spokesperson also asked if the chief ministers had brought up the valley, which spans 700 square miles, that will have been acceptable to some degree. Given that the cookies have played active roles in the nation building processes, Siltau maintains that the NB Rensing's alleged genocidal crusades against the minority Kukijo tribals under the pretext of illegal immigrants is illogical and not justified. Biran Singh must guard his mouth against impetuous and unrestrained speech so that uh, he may not harm himself and others with his word, he added. The Kotu spokesperson further alleged that uh, under Biran Singh's anarchy, Manipur has been in turmoil and peace and harmonies are unattainable goals. He says that while the craze of the world looked on its silence, such communal CM is using his ultimate authority to obliterate the Kuki Jo people. The issue of when the Indian governments would step in and put the things right remains unanswered to this day, he lamented. Why the center has not exercised so mortal cognizance over the sufferings of the Kuki Jo peoples and provided justice, as the Indian constitution declared, asks the Kotu spokesperson. A Delhi police official has been suspended following a video surfacing of him kicking Muslim men's offering Friday prayers on a road in the city's interlock area. The incident occurred due to the overcrowding at a local malls, leading to the several men praying on the road. The video, which shows the of police officials kicking and hitting the prayer men, sparked widespread outrage. Congress Rajya Sabha MP Imran Prataghari shared his, the videos and requested Delhi police to take appropriate action against the official. This Delhi police soldiers kicking a person while offering a namaz probably does not understand the basic principles of humanity. What is this hatred that is feels in the hearts of the soldier? Delhi police is requested to file the case against these officials under the appropriate action sections and terminate his service, he said. The PD commissioners of the police, M. K. Mina, stated that the officials have been suspended with immediate effect and that an inquiry has been initiated. The police have been appealed to the public to maintain peace. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on March 9th dedicated the statue of valors in memories of the great home general Lachit Barbukans at the Lachit Maidans at the Hulal Gapar areas in the Jorhat district. Unveiling the statue, PM paid tributes to the legendary home warrior Bir Lachit Barbukans, marking it a historic moment for the people of the states of Assam.
Manipur police arrested one active member of the prescribed outfits KCP PWG and identified as the Mahmud Nawaz Khan, 26 years of Tabul from the Infal West District. He was involved in the extortion of money from the pharmacy shops in Infal area. One mobile phone and one wallet were recovered from his possession. A case has been registered in this regard for further investigation. The CCN's Forum Peace Committee and Chaukat Kongtang Loop Singzamai Chinga Maka have extended monetary help to the volunteers of Sabungkok Kunao Makalika, where people are suffering due to the frequent gunfight today. It is a part of extension of help to the area where people are suffering due to the prevailing conflicts. The president of the Chaukat Kongtang Loop, W. Gunasor, encouraged the frontline volunteers of the Sabungkok Kunao. He says we should respect the spirit of the volunteers who defend the attack of the Kuki narco terrorists. ไม่ใช่หลักเสวิสนิกดาสมุนโคโนมะคะเลกายกีเลยมีบ่คุยคุณนะปัสสิงสิกาไปกีติมีดัชนิจไปไว้สานะจะมาตําดามะคุยอว
contact number 0385-244-9025 natraga 9862100456 Welcome you all to Unapa School Channel in Fall East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in All India School Ranking Awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic session for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Welcome back after the break. The crisis continues to brew for the Congress party after, after Assam's and Nibam Tuki, the former Prime Minister of Arunachal Pradesh, have resigned from his position as the President of the Arunachal Pradesh Congress Committee. His resignation comes in a head lead up to the forthcoming election. Nibam Tuki is the senior most Congress leader and is the lone left Emily out of four Congress Emily, as three joins BJP recently. Nabam Tuki served as a chief minister from November 2011 to, to February 2016 and he represented the Sagale Assembly constituency of Papum Pare district of Arunachal Pradesh for three decades, that is six terms. Earlier on February 25, two Congress legislature of Arunachal Pradesh formally joined the Bharatiya Janata Party during a formal joining program held at the state, of state party office. Additionally, two leaders of the National People's Party, MPP, also joined BJP during the program held today. The BJP joining program was held today, February 25, in the presence of Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Kandu and Ashok Singh, in charge of the Arunachal Pradesh for the forthcoming Lok Sabha elections. The leaders who joined the BJP today were West Pasigas MLA Ninong Iring Congress and Boduria Boga, Bogapani MLA Wangling Lawangdong Congress. The two MPP leaders who joined the BJP's are Ryong MLA's Muchu Miti and the Basar MLA Gokar Basar, respectively. Two fresh publications echoes from the Manchukha Valley and the Dead Dreams Ignites Your Inner File penned by Mito Darchi and Dr. Sandeep Banerjee, respectively, were unveiled today at an event hosted by the Arunachal Pradesh Literary Society at the Jain State Museum Auditorium in Itanagar. Deputy Chief Minister of the Arunachal Pradesh, Chawa Chauna Mint, released the books in the presence of the Pasan Dorji Sona. Speakers of the APLA and Wangki Luong, ministers of PHC and WS. Man extols the authors on the release and underscore the significance of such literary contributions for the documentations and the conservation of the state's culture and traditions. Man's recalling his long-standing association with Hamito Darchi, loaded Darchi's commitments and integrating. He stressed the need for the senior government official to chronicle their experience to enlighten younger generations and discuss developmental hurdles. Mans noted that the government's unwavering dedication to introducing administrative excellence across the states, leading to the creation of the CEOMI district in 2018. Emily Baril Valnai Sangi on Friday, who was the chief guest at a function organized by the Indian Christian Women's Movement Mizoram's unit, expressed her concern over the growing members of the domestic violence cases in Aijo. Speaking at a function, Baril Valnai Sangi says that the women who suffer from domestic violence is increasing in Aijo. Today's team, women's inclusion, trust, and development is evidence in the Mizoram politics. Equality is not only about physical and physical equality, but also about equality of skills. Gender equality is 2030 is one of the goals of the United Nations Sustainable Goals. Women should be included in the sustainable development programs. Women are half of the world's population, and if they are neglected, successful developments will never be achieved. If they are trusted and included, they will change the whole world for the better, she said. Baril Balnai Sangi says that women's rights are being protected in the country. Women's rights are being protected in the country. He says that the parents should change their attitude towards their daughter. He says that the parents should change their attitude towards their daughters. The government has introduced gender budgeting, which has given us the bright future and is an imp and important stage for the women, he said. The program was chaired by the Maria Mangai Jwali, president of the ICWM, 
ICWM is an association of all Christian women in India and is not affiliated with any church. The aim of the organization is to promote equality in church and society, women's rights and women's potentials. A fire broke out on the third floor of the Bala Bhavan State Secretariat buildings in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh on Saturday, triggering a rapid response from the multiple fire tenders. The incident reported around 9.30 a.m. was successfully brought under control with no reported injuries, according to the officials. Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Mohan Yadav addressed the situation, stating, It has come to my knowledge that a fire broke out on the third floor of the old building of Bala Bhavan. On the basis of the information received from the collectors, I told the CS to monitor it, that detailed information on the incidents be gathered, and I have also been told that the fire has been brought under control. Yadav further asserts that the measure have been taken up to prevent similar incidents in the future. We have issued directions to ensure that no such incidents occur again. I hope that no such incidents occur again, he added. The blaze was first noticed by the sanitation worker stationed near GATS members number five and six of the secretary complex, who promptly alerts the authorities. The Bobble Municipal Corporation's fire officials Rameshwar Nils confirms that the firefighters successfully controlled the fire and current efforts focus on managing the smokes emanating from the third floor where documented are stored. Approximately 15 to 20 fire standards were deployed to the scenes, underscoring the urgency of the situation. The fire brigades notify after the situation's worker, after the sanitation workers observed smoke acted swiftly to prevent the escalations of the incident. An investigation into the cause of the fires are underway. Official confirms that no injuries were reported. The incident has prompted highlighted vigilance and reinforced safety measures within the Secretariat complex, aiming to prevent any reoccurrence of such incidents in the future. The quick response from the emergency service has been instrumental in minimizing its potential damage and ensuring the safety of the state Secretariat building. Tripura BJP's President Rajiv Bhattacharya on Friday says that he is determined to bloom lotus in 3,349 booths in the states for the upcoming Lok Sabha election to strengthen the hands of the PM Modi. Addressing an event at the Agatala Town Hall organized on the first years of the BJP's second 10 years government, Bharat Bhattacharya says that the Lok Sabha election is approaching and the dates may be announced anytime. The BJP's main aim, he pleads, is to have Narendra Modi as the Prime Minister of the country again. Keeping Big Sat Bharat and the guarantee of the PM Modi, we are starting our pool campaigns from today. We have two Lok Sabha seats and promise to bloom the lotus in boots, seats, both seats in us, to strengthen the hands of the PM Modi. We flag off two, off two polls campaigns vehicle also. I believe that our Kriya Kartas will work hard to fulfill our determination. This government is working on another, uh, after another's on development's work. In 2018, we are free from the operation of the CPIM, led by the former Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Dev. And now, again, we have formed the government under the leadership of the Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha, said the BJP's president. Thanking the states and the central governments for carrying out development work, Rajiv said, our government is working for all sections of people, including farmers, the poor, youths, and the government employees. We have never thought that poor people will receive 2,000 rupees per social pension, a rise in the women's SHG. All these are done due to the BJP government. The BJP government has also given DA or DR to government employees in 2024. There is no one to stop Narendra Modi in becoming Prime Minister of India. We want to bloom the lotus again in these two seats. I am determined to bloom the lotus in 3,349 boots in the Lok Sabha election to strengthen the hands of the PM. Now let's take another short break again. Keep watching for more updates. With this colony in the Hingliba Singh, Tamagi Manunda control to Bangamle, Uria, Kratina and Wangbasu, Tamagi Manunda, Hantabangamle, Kong Hambanungai Tabasu, Numit Manganigi Manunda, Fahan Bangamle, Pile Cyberdi, Nusang Nabasu, Chama de Chama, Fahan Bangamle, Cholesterol Wangba, Numit Kunida, Normal Oibangamle, 
BP Wangbasu, Ta Amagi Manunga, Normal Oibangam Lay, Fatty Liver Oibasu, Ta Amagi Manunga, Fagat Hanbangam Lay, Pumnamak, Natural Oiba Hidak Makalna, Lying Javani, Hakjang the Soka the Bat Side Effect, Amatalaiti, Makata Hidak Javagi Matosu Taroi, Hena Kupaparogi the Mak, Nasi Mak Langsan Biru, Diabetes Hospital, Soibam Lakai, Ayang Pali Road, opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital, Porompat, Infall is near Punjab National Bank. Success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNACO School. Excellence in education. Welcome back. The Ad Hoc Committee, Panchayati Rats Institution, denounces the formation of the Administrative Committee instead of holding election for Panchayats in the state. The Ad Hoc Committee urged the authority to hold Panchay elections before Lok Sabha elections, say Pukramam Surbala, convener of the committee. Speaking to media persons in a press meet held at Manipur Press Club today, she said, if the government has the will, hold the Panchayat elections. The government's violated Panchayat Rats Act 1994. In the rules of the Act, it is clearly mentioned that if the authority fails to conduct elections, the previous elections person should continue the polls. We desire to hold Panchayat election, she added. Marie Lenaba, Lenak Asi, Hoji Hoji Pan Biriba, BJP, Lit Government Asina, Panzaiti Ras Institution Gi, Kungangi, Praza Miyangi Constitution, Hak Asi, Sahi Amaga, Tartaruk Asi, Panzai Election Asi, Pangtok Tana, Lakpani, Ama Natraga Ama, Haiduna, Lenak Asina, Democracy. Military Zuntagi, Maunda, Equigi, Tabak Toba, Equina, Matam Sangna, Usaklare, Aduna Pansai, Election Se, Pangtoktana, MP Election, Pangtokba Se, Equoyazaning De, MP Election, Karamba Electiono, Manipurgi, Pansaiti, Pansai Election, a Se, Gram Pansai, Amasung, Zilla Paris, Hatsingi, Eada, Brazali Sing, Kaya Amagi, Constitution, Hak Matpa, Benefit Matpa, a Se, Gomena, Equigi, Open Domenda. Public notice to Oga, pick and the Sus Kimong, the administrative committee, Siamduna, Manipurgi, Tangdu, Letadaba, Equigi Maung, Puraknanaba, Honabasi, Atu Matamda, Equig Hantopiu, Manipuda, Hosik Paliba, BJP lead Gurmel Asina, Naril Lerabati, Panzai election, Pangtopiu, Aduga, Isang Senga, Democracy, Masak Ado, Upi Hibese, Manipur PRI's Edo Committee, two thousand twenty seventeen. Komitina Lengaki Mapanda Apil Tosari. In response to the escalating water crisis in Bangalore, the Karataka government has taken decisive actions by imposing strict measures to conserve drinking water. The Karataka Water Supply and the Sewerage Board announced on Friday a ban on the use of the drinking water for the non essential purposes, including washing cars, gardening constructions, and the maintenance activities. Violators of these directives will find the hefty fines of Rs. 5,000 as an enforced by the authority. The acute water scarcity in the Bangalore has reached a critical level, prompting other interventions from both local and state authorities. The city, known as the India Stack Hub, has been grappling with a severe shortage of water resources, exacerbated by the drying ups of over 3,000 borb wells across the various neighborhoods. The situation has been aggravated by the inadequate rainfall during the monsoon seasons, leading to significant deficits in the water supply. To address the pressing issue, the Bangalore City Administration recently ins instituted price scale for water tankers, taking into account the vo volumes of the waters and the delivery distance. Additionally, apartment complexes and the get Get its communities have been begun imposing strict regulations on water uses, reflecting the severity of the crisis at the grassroots level. The Karnataka government, led by the Chief Minister Siddharama Maya, has been actively seeking droughts relief assistance from the central government for several months. Discussions and a meeting have been held to formulate the strategies aimed at mitigating the impact of the water shortage. 
Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Sivakumar emphasized the government's commitment to prioritize well-related water-related projects and focus on enhancing irrigation facilities to address the crisis effectively. However, the water crisis has been sparked political tension with the ruling Congress and the opposition's Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, engaging in a heated debate over the accountability and the governance. Bengaluru South MP Tezesvi Surya issues a stance warning threatening protests outside the Vidhana Saudha if immediate action is not taken to alleviate the drinking water crisis in the Bengaluru. The Center for Research on Energies and Clean Air, CREA, has revealed the alarming level of air pollution in northeast in Indian cities in the monthly air quality snapshots for February 2024. Birnighat, situated on the Meghalaya in Assam border, was identified as the most polluted city in India, recording a monthly average of PM 2.5 concentrations of 181-83 M3. This figure is approximately 60 M3, more than the second most polluted city, Araria in Bihar. The PM 2.5 levels in Birnihat was also nearly 1.8 times the PM 2.5 concentration recorded for Delhi in the same period. Other northeastern cities are the least of the 30 most polluted cities included Narbali, Agatala, Gowahati, Nagons. Out of the 11 cities with continuous ambient air quality monitoring sections in northeastern states, six exceeded the daily national ambient air quality standard set by the Central Pollution Control Board. On a brighter note, Sibasagar, Silchar, Aizol, and Infal were the cleanest cities in the region. Sibasagar was the second cleanest city in India, followed by the Silchar at the 23rd spot. However, none of these cities met the World Health Organization safe guidelines concentration for the PM 2.5. Sunil Dahiya, a South Asia analyst at CREA, stressed the need for the improved air quality monitoring and aggressive measures to curb pollution emissions in the northeastern states, giving the significant threats by they pose to public health and the economy. Dahiya noted that these states, once re renounced for their pristine environments, environments are now witnessing the concern shift to the unregulated industrial operation, inadequate public transportation infrastructure, rampant construction, lacking efficient pollution control measures, and other contributing factors. The escalating pollution level pose significant threats to the public health and the region's economy. Dahiya underscores the urgency of implementing aggressive measures to mitigate pollution emissions at their sources, thereby safeguarding both public health and the economic well-being of the region. Upon improvements in the law and order situations in the Valley District, curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Infal East, West, and Tawal District. In Kalsing District, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Bisnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Most of the shops and markets were open. Several people purchased their essential items during the curfew relaxation. For Elite TV News channel, contact to the email address info at elitetv.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to Elite TV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick recap of the top stories once again. Narendra Modi Modi virtually and no grades projects worth Manipur about 3,500 crore rupees. Manipur CM's abusive monkey remarks on cookies need serious attention from NDA government says top tribal body. Karnata Cup bans use of drinking water for non-essential purposes, implement rupees 500 fines. <music> Delhi police official suspended for kicking Muslim men while offering namaj.
and curfew relax in Infal East, West and Tawal District till 10 p.m. for Kaksin District till 8 p.m. In Bisnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. And that's all for now. Keep watching LATV for more updates at 6 p.m. again. Till then, take care and have a wonderful evening.